pretend that I'm one of the lecturer or presenter in a classroom. I follow the instruction that uh, Tracy or the pre previous users uh, has instructed us to connect the laptop, the laptop connection cable, and, all, and also I switch to laptop. But as you can see, I log into my laptop, but there's no projection on the screen. So now we invited Jean from IT department to show us how to troubleshoot. Hello everyone. Oftentimes when you connect your VGA cable and you make sure that the video switcher is set, you may notice as Tracy once mentioned that the screen is blank. This happens with laptops specifically because of a very simple and yet easy um, function that laptops have. Laptops vary of course with this function. Sometimes it's a, a function F2 or a function F4 or a function F8. Um, Sony's, HP's, and Dell varies. But we have an HP computer here. So whenever this were to happen, again in the future, you simply want to push the function key, which is towards the bottom left corner of the keyboard, usually. And once more I said this is an HP, you press the function key and press F4. Once you do that, it should switch the signal over. As you can see, it went blank, um, indicating oh, there you go. that there is a, a switch, and that fixes it. But sometimes, Tracy, that's not always the case. Oh, yeah, it happens. It does happen, right? Yeah. So there's a toggle option as well. Although I press function F4 uh -huh. to switch it, if I press it again, as you can see, sometimes mm -hmm. you'll have it projected on the screen, but you'll have a blank picture on your oh, laptop. bummer. That's a bummer. So the way for us to get out of this, once more, we have to toggle the FN F4 button again. Okay. So just keep hitting it until keep hitting. you have. There's there's three there's three settings. There's <laughs> laptop where the the um, the image is projected only on the laptop. If you toggle F and F4 again, second time, it does a mirror display. So you see oh. it both on your laptop and also on the projection. Uh -huh. And if you do it once more, which we won't do, but we did previously, um, you'll just see it on the screen. Oh, I see it now. You know? So one time is just the laptop. Second time would be both of the screen, mm -hmm. and the third time would be just the screen, just which the screen, we don't want that. <laughs> which you don't want. You know, um, always keep the projector remote handy with you. That's great. Once you keep the projector handy, remote handy with you, there's a, there's a button called the resync button. Oh, I see the it. The resync button. Simply what you do, once you've tried these options and you've, of course, made sure that the switcher is selected to laptop and your cable is securely fit, you want to take your projector remote and press the resync button pointing towards the projector. Once you, does, once you do that, what this enables the projector to do, it enables it to refresh its um, connection mm -hmm. to make sure that there is indeed uh, input coming through. Okay. So once more, that is the resync button. Simply push it. In this case, oh, see. you can see um, the, the image is sort of yeah. shifting. Mm -hmm. What's happening is the projector is looking for that signal. And oh. once it finds that signal, it works. Okay, so yeah. I get it. The function key on the laptop is to trigger the signal to the projector. That's correct, Tracy. And the other function is to use the resync to trick, to trigger the projector to, to receive, to receive the, signal. the signal. You're right. Oh, that's good. That's great. Let's say you'll you'll see an image that says uh, on the projector um, resolution is too high to display. That's right. That's you know? why they say resolution. Yes, How do I fix play. it? Simple. What you want to do is using your trackpad or if you have a an attached mouse, mm -hmm. you want to right click on your desktop anywhere besides on an icon of course because if you click on an icon You lost me I right click. <laughs> <laughs> right click? <laughs> I lost your right click? Yeah, how yeah. Do, what is right click? Simple, you know how um, two, there's two buttons on a mouse typically? Oh, you mean this? <laughs> yeah, this right here, the, the left, this is the left button and the right button. Oh, I, All I right? see. Alright, so what you want to do is, on, on either if you're using yeah. a, a... If I do have a mouse. If you do have a mouse, you would use the right. Okay. Right? But you could also use the button on the... Um, the laptop. The laptop. Oh, okay. And you can press the right button. The right Great. button. Good to know. Okay. Once you press the right button, it brings up a menu. Um, the menu will give you an options where you can go to properties. Let's go down to properties, and you'll hit the left button. Because uh -huh. if you hit the right button again, it 
sometimes closes the menu, but in this case, it also opened it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. And then it'll open what's called the display properties. And under display properties, yeah. you want to go to settings. At settings is where you'll get the option to change the resolution oh, I see of it. your uh, laptop projector. Projection. Okay. So if we, for example, if we, right now it's at, the, it's, at the, it's highest resolution, which is good mm -hmm. because our projector supports that resolution. Oh, that's but good. But there are some cases where you'll have a laptop um, which is a, a little dated and it doesn't support mm. a higher resolution. You mean the projector is old? The projector is yeah. old or let's say the computer okay. also doesn't support a higher resolution. Oh, okay. Um, but let's say accidentally somehow it's set to the highest. Yeah. All right, but this projector doesn't support mm. that resolution. Which doesn't happen at MSPP, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't happen over here. So what you want to do is once you're in display properties under settings, yeah. you simply want to um, lower your resolution. Oh, what's the recommended resolution at MSPP? Okay, the default MSPP resolution yeah. is 1280 by 720. Okay. All right. So once we hit OK, you'll notice that not only will the laptop shift in its display, but mm -hmm. the projection as well oh, okay. will, Let me take will a change. Look. Oh, it's bigger. It is bigger. But it cropped out. It, it, it also oh. cropped out. But we'll go ahead and hit yes. Uh huh. We could have hit no. Once we hit no, it would have reset it. But just for demonstration purposes, oftentimes when you choose a resolution that mm -hmm. is, it's, it, it's not supported mm -hmm. by the 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 size of the pro, pro projection screen mm -hmm. sometimes um, it got propped out it crops out or oh. the image may spill over okay how do I fix it so to fix this once more we'll go back to properties settings and we'll go ahead and put that back up to 1440 by 900 and that's 1440 by 900 for this specific um, laptop, laptop. And okay. once more, it does vary from laptop to laptop. Mm -hmm. But once you find a native resolution that is best for you or best suited, by default, however, it's very important to know that once you do plug it in mm -hmm. and you hit your function keys, mm -hmm. um, the, the resolution is usually set. But if for, for some reason you need to change it, okay. you can. And this is the way that it's done. Great. Thank awesome. you so much. So I'll go ahead and reset that back and I'll hit apply, hit OK, and voila. Yeah, that's it's much bad. better.